Before this video starts, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my good friends over at Sup Guys. Their channel will be linked in the description below, and you can also find them by going over to the Channels tab in iOS and Android. And if you're using a computer, you can of course scroll down to the best in the business on my homepage. For now. G'day, Monthly Australian here. You know what's worse than having sunburnt thighs? Realising that the GameCube only sold 22 million units. Being a Nintendo fan, both of those things hurt, but the sunburnt thighs hurts immensely. Dad, why do we have to go to the beach? The GameCube is one of the worst selling and most decorated consoles of all time, which is incredibly weird. In fact, every bit of it is weird, from its controller to its name and console design. And I say name and console design together because they go together very, very well, in the sense that the GameCube isn't an actual cube. So that means Nintendo doesn't know geometry. That, that's sad. The GameCube controller is quite weird too, in the sense that it goes for a spacey feel. So take the buttons, for example. The A is the sun, and the, the X, Y, and B buttons are the planets orbiting around said sun. The analog sticks and D-pad are what you expect from analog sticks and D-pads. And the analog triggers are so good. Speaking of analog triggers, these and the controller itself are said to work amazing with Super Smash Brothers, a video game which we will talk about in the distant future. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a GameCube on me, but for Nintendo Switch owners, which is me, the next best thing is a GameCube controller for the Nintendo Switch. Now, two things to take away from that. The first thing is, during that clip and in the next clip, I am filming that on Boxing Day. And secondly, yes, I have a GameCube-style controller for the Nintendo Switch. Now, because unboxings are pretty boring, I'm going to save you heaps of time by just snapping my fingers. Told you so. Damn, I'm still surprised how I managed to shut that door and turn the volume up on the TV. Um, anyway, I tested this controller out on a couple of my favourite games, i.e. Super Mario Sunshine, which originally released on the GameCube, and Super Mario Odyssey. Now, I could not test it on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate because I do not have that game quite yet. When I do get it, I will actually play it with the GameCube controller and let you know what I think of it. So I tested it on Mario Sunshine and on Mario Odyssey and I found it to be really good. Sure, it's a bit hard to uh, get used to it, but overall it's a pretty solid controller. However, I do recommend getting the wireless version because although it is a very, very long cord, it is wired, which is a major downside. However, it is basically giving the authentic experience as it was wired, unless you had the, uh, what was it called? The Wirebird, which was the wireless, the first true wireless GameCube controller and the first true wireless controller of its kind. So that is a massive uh, downside in terms of the Nintendo Switch GameCube controller. But it is still overall a solid controller, and it also doesn't have rumble or anything like that. So it's just a couple buttons, some analog sticks, shoulder buttons, D-pad, go for it. And that's basically my analysis on the GameCube. It is, they have some faults, but it is still a great console, and I absolutely enjoy it. So, with that all said and done, thank you all for watching today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Please check the description for any credits given to the people who I've sourced material from, and stay tuned after these credits. I will tell you about my plans for this YouTube channel. Until then, The Monthly Australian, signing off. Okay. Alright, uh, hi everybody, this is TMA, uh, talking to you from this white void, which is actually my parents' bedroom wall, but we don't talk about that. Anyway, uh, two...
quick announcements. First one, I'm planning to do gaming videos. Just let me know what games you guys want to see on this YouTube channel and I'll try my best to deliver them. And uh, second of all, um, I'm starting to get a bit cramped for time with editing and making YouTube videos. And uh, of course, uh, school and sports is trying to, starting, it's not trying, it's starting to catch up with me. Um, so this is for the future, but I do apologize if I'm late on any videos or anything like that. It's just with, um, you know, school and sports just getting a bit cramped for uh, time to make YouTube videos. So not now, but in the distant future, if I may am late, I do apologize tremendously. And I hope you can stick with me on this YouTube channel. Right. Time to show you a blooper that I created out of thin air. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Until then, the monthly Australian signing off. The cane cube is one of the the cane the the cane the the, the cane cube. What?